Hello pumpkins! This is a little bit of an impromptu Halloween hunting video because we were out doing errands today and I thought it was worth stopping some places but honestly I didn't really expect to see anything but we just went to TJ Maxx and they had a couple things that I wanted to share with you. It's all skulls so if you're into skulls then stick around. I'm going to show the footage in just a minute but... Yeah, it looks like we found a little bit, and then we're going to go to Michael's and Target. Once again, I don't expect us anything, but you never know. Maybe they'll have something. Welcome back to the House Beyond the Hedge. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the footage of the stuff that I saw at TJ Maxx, which is where we stopped first, and... There's a, a couple of goodies in there, a couple little fun skull items, no real true Halloween stuff yet, but I think this qualifies when there's nothing else to see. So let's take a look at that footage now. All right, so that was cool. I liked those things. I didn't buy any of them, but I thought they were all super cute, especially that Betsy Johnson animal carrier, which is really cute. Now we're at Michael's, so let's go in and take a look. Okay, so it doesn't look like they have any actual Halloween yet, but they do still have the Nevermore line, a little bit of stuff left, you can see here. And there's actually a couple of things that are here now that weren't here the first time that I came, so I'm gonna show you those because they're cute and I didn't get to show them in my first video about this line and if you're interested in some of the stuff it does look like my Michael still has some left so maybe yours does too. So let's take a look at a couple things. This summer aisle behind me is looking very sparse, so I feel like that is a good sign. Hopefully they'll be clearing this out and adding Halloween soon to this aisle. So we're gonna go to Target next and check that out. Thank you. 
Okay, so we are back home now and just thought I would wrap up what we saw. We didn't really see much actual Halloween at all, which I expected, but TJ Maxx did have some Skulls stuff. And then Michaels did have more Nevermore stuff, which I hadn't seen before. I'm sure most people at this point have probably seen that, but I hadn't seen that stuff in store. It must have been put out after I did my Halloween hunting video for that collection. So that was fun for me to see it in store. I don't know if it was fun for you, but <laughs> figured I'd show you anyway. And then Target had those horror action figures, which I wanted to show because they have those all year round. So in case you didn't know that Target has horror action figures, they always have those and they always have really cute ones. So I would go check that out if that's something that you're interested in because it's a fun way to see some, you know, spooky horror related stuff at any time of the year. So that's nice. And then I did get something at Target, which is not Halloween related, but I'm gonna show you anyway, because it's really cute. In the dollar spot section, they had these bread pillows. So I got this one, it's a croissant. And then I also got the soft pretzel one, which I thought was super cute. And then I think they had a donut one that was cute as well. I just wanted to show you because they're adorable and they're five bucks. So if you're into breads like me, then you could go check that out at Target. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this Halloween hunting video. Not a lot, but actually more than I expected because I expected to see nothing. So we will keep checking back and I will definitely take you along and show you whenever I find anything new. Go ahead and like and subscribe if that's something that you would like to see more videos about. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's at House Beyond the Hedge. If you wanna follow me on Twitch, it's at Trusty Parasol. And always remember to keep the kettle warm because I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.